Hello guys and welcome to this week's episode of You've Got Issues. I'm your host, Idia Aysian, and this is the show where you tell us your issues and with the help of my lovely guests, we give you tips and advice. Remember, we're not experts, but a problem shared is a problem halved. Hey, I am a 26 years old man with a well-to-do job. A lot of my friends boast about having their own businesses at a very young age without being answerable to anyone. They make me feel like a slave profiting another man's business and a failure to myself. My question is, does age really matter when it comes to entrepreneurship? Okay, so I don't know about women disclosing their age. But I have no qualms. Exactly. So, what, so do you think that the age that you started your business is the most appropriate age to start a business? Do you think people should start earlier? Do you think it doesn't matter? What are your thoughts? I think it doesn't matter. I think everybody's different. Everybody has different paths, you know, which they will charter, you know, chart through in their lives. Yeah. So it really doesn't matter. I started my business when I was just turning 36. I'm turning 40 next month. Wow, you look great. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so it's okay. And I, I always tell people, don't compare you. Don't let anybody put you under pressure because this society just tends to put you under pressure for everything. If it's not marriage, it's business, it's, hair, it's, skin, it's something. Your height, your body, your bone, your... <laughs> it's something. There's always pressure for something. Yeah. But, you know, don't let that phase you at all. Just follow your heart. You know, just, you know, follow your heart. Don't feel pressured to do something because unfortunately, when you feel pressured to do something, you end up doing the wrong thing or you do the right thing at the wrong time or something, you know, so you just don't feel pressure. Just follow your heart and your, you know, your intuition and you'll be, you'll be fine. There is no age limit to anything. As long as you're doing it at the time that you're supposed to be doing it, you will do excellently well and that's That's very good advice. Thank you. You're welcome. I think Kemi said it all, um, but I would add entrepreneurship is not for everyone do not feel the pressure to jump in the pond and you should really think about your friends because your friends should not just be boasting um, your friends should be people who are encouraging and who tell you about the realities and honestly it's the realities of an entrepreneur is it's hard it's very 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 hard um, so I would say if you're happy at your job you're motivated and you're learning there's absolutely nothing wrong with that um, if you do decide later on in life that you want to go into business, you can take a lot of those lessons learned into um, your future business. That will definitely help you be more successful than if you're maybe a little bit young and immature and you haven't really experienced a lot. So no pressure, do it whenever you want. I started mine at 27 and um, I mean it was the right time for me, but I wouldn't say a certain time for anyone else. Well, I'll address two things. So there's the age aspect. It doesn't matter how old you are because everybody has a different boat to steer. So the age factor doesn't matter at all. In fact, it's ridiculous for you to feel that because people are doing something at a certain age, you should even care about that. The second thing is that life is all about calling. There's a mm -hmm. saying that if you do not have a dream for yourself, you will live in another man's dream. Now, everybody dreams of being able to be the boss and call the shots. But you know, like Louisa has said, everybody cannot be a CEO. Everybody cannot be the president. Please, everybody should not be the president. <laughs> you know, like you can't, you can't always look over your shoulder at what people are doing. They always say that failure is caused by going along with the crowd when you know that God is pulling you in another direction. Mm -hmm. So look inside your heart. What is it that your heart is beating to do? And even if your heart is beating to be in fashion, it does not mean you're meant to be a model. It does not mean that you're meant to be a designer. It just means that, you know, you're meant to do something along those paths. Also, people are not very truthful to themselves. Are you a lazy person? Do you lack discipline? Do you procrastinate? These are important factors. If you're the kind of person that you know you can't lead people, people have never listened to you since you were born, why would you think that you could be a manager or a leader you know you have to say okay am i a people's person do i work well with teams you know stuff like that those are the kind of things that help you what kind of funding do i have you might want to wait till you can raise the kind of capital that you need to start a business you don't put yourself under that kind of undue stress to walk in another person's shoes because let me tell you what you'll do you'll end up opening a natural hair store like and you shave off all your hair you open a natural beauty store then four years later you'll be like but I like straight hair. Like, why am I doing this? I yeah. love perming my hair, I love straightening my hair. And then you're back to square one, you're yeah. confused all over again. So please follow your own path and forget about what your friends are doing. <laughs>